Salutations, internet viewers and enthusiasts. I am a tuber who makes things on this YouTube of the viewing variety that you may peruse for your comedy pleasings and also your leisurely uh, late night viewings. Well, that was uh, the hell of a sentence that I just said. Let's see some other ones. A cash machine has appeared on the side of a bridge. <laughs> you know, for when you're out fishing, right? You know, you and your buddies, you're out on a boat and y'all fishing. And then y'all realize that y'all out of worms before you go back up to the to the pier to get you some, some new bait. Well, they only take, uh, they only take cash, so might as well hit the ATM here under the bridge. Who stocks that? And isn't there like a little vault behind that? So does somebody like chisel that out of the bridge? Does that like make the structural integrity of the bridge worser? If it floods... Because I imagine that, because you can see some some algae and junk about where, like, discoloration above where the machine is. Like, this has got to be a joke, right? Like, that that thing was short circuit so goddamn fast. Imagine shitting so bad they put it in the paper. Meet Derek Blasberg, Hollywood socialite accused of fleeing Gwyneth Paltrow's Hamptons home after catastrophic diarrhea. Catastrophic diarrhea. I've walked in on a couple of those situations. Who counts Jeff Bezos and Demi Moore as pals? Okay, well, first off, the sentence is written, written, written wildly. Is uh, the socialite the friends of Bezos and Moore, or is Paltrow the friend of and was was he there like i guess from the picture they look like they're close like what were they dating or like you know close friends or whatever and then like one day while she was out at the store he just i mean had the worst case of the runs and just effing i mean just blew that toilet up and i mean just 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 destroyed that shit and was like well <laughs> I can't be here anymore. And then just left like, imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine crapping so, so hard that you got to leave a Dear Jane note. Holy God. Investment banker, age 30, smeared mud, quote unquote, smeared mud on himself and had sex with a tree in the shadow of Kensington. You know what, bud? Sometimes you just got to let it out. You just got to let loose. You just got to be who you were meant to be, all right? And if you want to return to nature in the most ass way possible, man, you go for it. This really looks like AI just, you know, threw a bunch of words that it knows on a thing. This, this couldn't have happened, but I assume it happened because it's in the UK news, right? Right, right, I mean, right? Hippopotamuses can become airborne for substantial periods of time, researchers discover. I mean, anything can become airborne for significant periods of time if it falls from a high enough place, but whatever. The mammals, which can weigh up to 8,000 pounds, can often leave the ground when moving fast, which differs to other animals like rhinos and elephants. So you mean to tell me? <laughs> you mean to tell me a, a freaking four-ton animal that has no aerodynamic features on it whatsoever can start running so fast that he literally starts to come up off the ground like feet in the air like like that that's what you want to tell me that's i i think you're fibbing i don't believe that's true i don't think that's a real thing that happens Zoomers are romanticizing pre-recession suburban Tuscan core on TikTok. That's a lot of things. Pre-recession, like which one? Like the one 08, 09 one? Suburban Tuscan core on TikTok. That's just a kitchen. That's just a kitchen. I'm not going to play the video. Is it a video? I don't think it's a video. It may be a video. I don't freaking care. My aunt's house hasn't been updated since 2005. Oh yes, the far flung year of 2005. Look, I know it was a, almost 20 years ago, okay? That's not that long in the grand scheme of things, right? But here we go. Somebody trying to make me feel old and I hate it. This this is one of those that also has to be an AI thing. This is this is too too vaguely specific. Oreo bot had to be created by Joshua Joyce and KSI because Joshua wanted Oreos. So he had to be created after being completed. The Oreo company finally gave Joshua Oreos as a result for creating Oreo bot. So so Josh Joshy here wanted an Oreo and made a, a robot that would give him Oreos 
Um, but Big Oreo, what is it? whichever company owns Oreo, apparently held Oreo Bot because I guess he made it in conjunction with somebody else. And they finally gave him the bot because it was, or did, or did the Oreo company gave him, okay, no. So Oreo Bot, Oreo Bot is not an Oreo conveyance device. It's just a robot that does something about Oreos tangential Oreos adjacently to Oreos and Josh got Oreos for making it instead of going down to his local quick rip and spending, you know, three or four, or 11 bucks, however much Oreos are now and just, just buy them that way. That is a roundabout way to get you some damn chocolate cookies with the cream in between. I am infertile from eating scented candles. You know, I don't think that, I don't believe that's how you get infertile. I don't think that's how that happens. I have reason to believe that that's not actually what makes you infertile. Um, it may not be the worst thing if you don't have kids, seeing as how you eat scented candles, um, because that is a, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that's probably a negative trait that we would hand down through the generations. Sorry to sound like that about it, but um, you eat candles. Nutritionally devoid, you eat Candles, scented candles. Do they taste good? I don't think they even taste good, other than just the you know smell factor. Like, mm, yes, pumpkin pie. It's just wax. It's just burnt wax. What's wrong with you? Stop. Stop it. And here we go again. Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen two, two instances of this. High-speed hippos can get airborne. New study says researchers found that all four of the hippos' limbs leave the ground when they trot at high speed. Okay, okay. I mean. I could see where if they're all just digging, just giving it all the hell they got, maybe it's, you know, maybe there would be a point in time where all four would be up off the ground, but like mid stride, you know, if that's what we're trying to say. If, if your definition of airborne is just that they're not touching the ground, that's a very loose interpretation. I'm thinking he's doing like a, a sweet, like 720 kick spin or some bullshit, you know, Semantics, semantics, brand new sentence. Crazy how one little sperm cell creates a big grown goofy lying ass bitch. I mean, you're not wrong though. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. This one looks vaguely familiar too. I don't know if I read it before or this from something else. This two days ago. Now they are an 11 pound whole slab of deli ham and has no bones, fat, or connective tissue. It is an amalgamation of the meat of several pigs, emulsified, liquefied, strained, and ultimately inexorably joined in an unholy meat obelisk. God had no hand in the creation of this abhorrence. The fact that this ham monolith exists proves that God is either impotent to alter his universe or ignorant to the horrors taking place in his kingdom. This prism of pork is more than deli meat. It is a physical declaration of mankind's contempt for the natural order. It is hubris manifest. We also have a lower sodium variety if you would prefer that. <laughs> 11 pound. Look. Look. I mean, you throw that bad boy on the smoker, though, I bet it's probably pretty good. I mean, yes, it is an absolute slap in the face of the divine, but it's probably pretty tasty. This guy on Grinder said he'd pay me $200 to talk to him about my farts, so I spent the last two hours going in-depth about every aspect of my farts, only for him to block me at the end. That is the face I would make, too. Actually, I wouldn't do this. Grinder is not for me, and furthermore, if I was on some sort of dating site, which thank God I'm not, I know you could do what you gotta do. And I know sometimes it's to find somebody, sometimes it's just to polish your rocks. What, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing. There are some lines we don't need to cross. And I do believe, I mean, you got paid. I mean, that's a pretty good rate. I mean, $100 an hour, right? Uh, that's a damn good rate. But how do you feel after that? How do you feel about what you've done? Do you feel good? I don't feel good having read it. <laughs> Aww, Sack Afro wants his deuce. Maybe I should ask that goddamn dog from Anatomy of a Fall. Sorry. How unprofessional of me. I couldn't even get the damn sentence out. <clears throat> Wonder. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. I wonder how often the dog from Anatomy of a Fall shat and pissed on set, getting nasty dog piss and shit all over the equipment and crew. I want to let you all know that I, I, a professional actor, would have, would have never done that because unlike the dog, I am a professional and I take the craft seriously. Look, Rufus probably took it seriously too. But he don't know how to use a bathroom, so don't hate, man. Just be cool. Oh, for goodness sake. D&D has early access periods and pre-order bonuses now, like a 3D model of a dragon for a virtual tabletop that doesn't exist yet. You know, I've seen something about this, and I, I don't really play a lot of tabletop games. I have, but I'm not, I'm not as up-to-date on it, so maybe I can't really speak to the uh, WTF-ness of this as well as somebody else may be able to. That really does seem like that don't make a lot of damn sense what I'm reading here. Like, I assume it's like a new new type of game, a new series, a new a new version of the game, what have you. Like, how do you have pre-order bonuses for, for something that's a, a tabletop? Like, again, I, I don't understand the, the, full, the full picture here, so I can't really say a whole lot, but I don't, why, why is there an early access period? I mean, you could just you could just make it up, right? You can have your own early access period with blackjack and hookers. You don't have to wait for them to give you one. Damn, they forgot to circumcise my fork. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a metal spork. I mean, I don't know what your problem is. I mean, it's a little little goofy shaped, but it's ah. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty big oversight. You need to take that one back. All right, that's enough of that. Much thank. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, put a like down there if you so choose. Also, make comment. And uh, next time until, see you possibly maybe. Bye.